and other quality products from Twilliam Industrial Company Limited. This advert is FDA approved. So it's a milk cream wafer, deliciously made by us, Macberry. This wafer has got rich ingredients in the layers of tenderly melting milk cream filling. So crispy and attractively packaged. The taste is such a pure delight, and so we named it Pure Delight. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Let's go, honey. You are running late for school. Enjoy it in chocolate, strawberry, and milk flavors. Pure Delight Wafers. Every bite is such a delight. This advert is FDA approved. Hello, guys. My name is Akose Abada Duredo. Do you know what? Let me tell you my secret. Follow me. Margaret Fuller once said, A reader today, a leader tomorrow. The reason I believe if we children are exposed to the need to read today, we can become great leaders tomorrow. For this reason, I have always been interested in two things. First is to become a passionate reader, and second is to choose carefully what I read. Therefore, I recommend to you C2G Book People. C2G Book People. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Thank you. Hey, my name is Belinda Dolechawe, sales personnel for C2G Book People. We have motivational books, Bibles, story books, play items, and many more. We are located at the Junction Mall and the West Hills Mall. For bulk purchases, contact us on of the day where we brighten your screen with book when reading competition. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're watching us from, welcome. Today is the day. From today, we head straight into the quarter finals. Wow. We've come a long way from week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Today is week eight. I'm sure you did the good thing by voting for your favorite reader so that the person does not go home today. The program is proudly brought to us by Bookworm Avenue Concert and we are proudly sponsored by Planet Drinks. Planet says, mm, a world of taste. And then to Macberry Biscuit Baked with Love. We are supported by Zealand Fan World, one of Ghana's children amusement centers here located inside the Legon City Mall. Also to Adrienza Publications, leading book publishing company in Ghana. C2G Book People, when it comes to storybooks, gifts, toys, and more, then the best place for you to get them is C2G Book People. To Speak Up Mobile Lab, to CJ Multimedia, to Christ Lives International School, to Media Seven Group of Companies, and then to the Republic Investment for supporting the cause of book. And we are coming to you live from the CJ Studios here in Accra. So wherever you're watching us from, it's time to jump onto your social media handles. On Facebook, it is Bookworm Ghana. Instagram is one book underscore WMGH. And then on YouTube, it is Bookworm GH. Let's get interactive. Let's get a conversation going. Let me know who you are supporting or who you are tipping to go home today. So far, from the lower primary, or the upper primary. What? The name remains the same, FM. When I come back from the break, I get to tell you about the Ashanti region bookworm. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. This is Bookworm. It's here again. It's here again. Yes. The bookworm train will be moving soon. Will your school be part of the 15 schools to benefit from the bookworm school tour? We have seen the likes of Santa Barbara, Our Seed Academy, University of Ghana Basic School, Spring Kids School, and many more. 
this is the time to rally behind your favorite contestants because once they qualify to the grand finale, your school will be featured in a special documentary that will be aired live on TV. So vote for your favorite contestant now as you cheer them up to win the ultimate prize. A citation of honor and achievement will be awarded to the school whose contestant emerges as the winner of Bookworm Season 4. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Welcome back from the break. This is still live bookworm reading competition season four. Like I said before, the break today is uh, eviction into the quarterfinals. So I'm sure you are doing one thing. Just pick up your phone. It is star three six five star three six six hash, and then you proceed to the reader's quote and number, or you download the Speak Up Mobile app. You go to post, select bookworm for kids show. You tap on your favorite reader's picture, and then you do one thing. You keep the votes coming in. Jump onto our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, and then on YouTube. In case you missed any of our previous episodes, then the best way for you to get them is on YouTube. That is Bookworm GH. It's time to introduce my judges to you. For Judge One, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Evans at the CC again today. You're welcome. Thank you, FM. I hope all is well. Very, very well. We thank God for that. Yeah. And then to Mr. Daniel Arthur, you're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, I'm good, too. Very so... Well. The two of you have been on the hot seat from, I think, week five, six, seven, and today being week eight. What have you seen so far from the kids? Any improvement? And what is today's challenge heading into the eviction and then straight into the quarterfinals? Anyway, uh, we are no more on the hot seat. We are now on the hottest seat. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> whether we like it or not, some people have to leave us sure. for the program to progress. Well, uh, they've done well. Apart from the summary where some of them were fumbling, it was quite okay. So let's see how it goes today. All right. Mr. Daniel Arthur, what's the challenge for today? Uh, well, they are still having to summarize the passage that they will read. And we'll be looking out for their composure, their fluency, the pronunciation, and the speed as well. All right. Thank you so much. So you heard it from the judges. So when you come here, you do one thing. After reading, you'll be asked to summarize the passage that you read. You need to do good to that in order to get your marks because the score master. Is sitting somewhere in the corner waiting to give the score and then to progress and to evict some of you. Now, let me head straight to the Ashanti region. So, next week, inside the Nassau, that I'm talking about the 13th of November, next week, we'll all be in Kumase for the audition inside Nassau. So, if you got your forms in Kumase, your time is now. Learn something from today so that next week you will be able to impress the judges. 13th of November at exactly 8 a.m. We are starting inside Kumase uh, Nasto. So get prepared, get yourselves ready, and let's get started with Bookworm inside the Ashanti region. Many thanks to Planet Drinks and then to Macberry Biscuits. It's time to introduce our nominees for uh, last week's uh, lower primary reading. Let's have them. The nominees for the best reader of the week in lower primary category are Steve Herbert, Maze Plantation. Maize is one of the staple, staple crops consume, consumed by most households in Ghana. It is cultivated in most regions. Rich Montanadi. Maize plantation. Maize is one of the staple crops consumed by most households in Ghana. It is cultivated in most regions. Regions in Ghana, especially Sati Achia. It is cultivated in most regions in Ghana, especially the northern part of Ghana. Maize can be consumed in various forms and used in various ways in the Ghanaian diet. And we have our nominees for last week's reading for the lower primary category. We have Sati Achia, we have Richmond Tenedu, and Steve Herbert, and Mr. Evans Adisi will do the presentation for us. So, 
from the judges' score, and then public votes will determine who will emerge as the winner for week seven. So, Mr. Uh, Ivans, if you are ready, uh, let's do the presentation. And our winner for last week is, again, Richmond. Tenedu, so winning it consecutively for the seventh time for bookworm reading competition season four. Week one, week two, three, four, five, six, seven, all going to Richmond Tenedu. Mr. Ivan Sadisi kindly do the presentation for us, and all of them will go home with a product from Onza, from Macberry Biscuits, giving them bless, and also Planet Drinks. I'm sure they are going home today with a cocktail. So congratulations to all of them. We have a coupon from Zealand Fan World for them to go and relax after today's program. Have fun and all that. We also have a storybook coming in from C2G Book People. Ghana's leading book suppliers. We also have a pencil, eraser, sharpener to aid in their education. Well designed by Planet. And again, congratulations to you, Richmond Tinedu. Imagine as our winner for week seven consecutively. Now, we should applaud him for that. Great work coming in from him. Congratulations to Steve Herbert and then Sati Achia for making it to this point. Ladies and gentlemen, to those in the Ashanti region, don't forget, next week on the 13th of November, we are coming to you live inside the Nasta for that big audition. So if you got your forms, all you need to do is to stay glued to your seat today. Enjoy the program and learn something from it. Ladies and gentlemen, many thanks to Planet Drinks, to my Berry Biscuit, to Zealand Fan World, Adrian Star Publications, C2G Book People, CJ Multimedia, Speak Up Mobile Lab, Christ Lives International School, Media 7, and The Republic Investment. If you are ready, I am ready, judges are ready, the kids are also ready. Let's have our first set of readers. <music> My beautiful king, how are you? Please, I'm fine. I like the smile. Let's start. Lake Busum Tree. Lake Busum Tree, Ghana's only natural lake, is located in the Ashanti region. The lake, the sides rise steeply covered with the forest. There are various settlements around many fish many fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. Lake, the name Busumche literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Busumche was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursuing an antelope into a racket or tree shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. This, the set. All right. So, then the shit line. Let's let's see what we. All right. So, tell us what you read from the passage. Lake Busumche. Okay. Lake Busumche is one of the natural. Rivers in Ghana. The name Busum Chem literally means or literally means an antelope. All right, all right. So you've done quite well. It's impressive. Let's see how you fare, okay? All right, all the best. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Kindly turn your paper and read the passage. Lake Bosom Tree. Lake Bosom Tree. Ghana's only natural lake is located in the Ashanti region. The sides rise steeply covered with forests. There are various settlements around many fishing and farming villages, but also some places to see. The name Bosomche literally means antelope god. 
Oya tradition has it that the Lake Boson Trail was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursuing an antelope into brackets Oche shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. The said hunter by name Akrat Bompe in shock decided to stay beside the pond and never return to his town of Asaman. He then named the place... All right, Justice. Please turn and tell us what you read from the passage. Lake Bosonche eh, then the natural lake is in the Ashanti region. The lake Boson, the name Bosonche means antelope god. Well done, Justice. I wish you well. So turn the paper and let's start reading. Lake Bosomche. Lake Bosomche, Ghana's only natural lake, is located in the Ashanti region. The sites rise steeply covered with forest. There are various settlements around mainly fishing and farming village but also some places to stay. The name Bosumche literally means antelope gods. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Bosumche was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursuing an antelope into bracket or Oche shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. This, this, this. All, right. This. All, right. All right, all right, all right. So let's turn the paper upside down. Yeah. So what did you read from the passage? I read about Lake Bosomche. Right. Lake Bosomche, Ghana's only lake located in Ashanti region and it is called the antelope gods all right so you didn't see gods you saw god right good and it's not the nat only na only lake in ghana but the passage is the only natural lake okay you've done quite well clap for yourself all right so see you again Hello, Christopher. Please turn the paper and read the passage. Thank you. Lake Bonsom Tree. Lake Bonsom Tree, Ghana's only natural lake, is located in the Ashanti region. The sides rise steeply covered with forest. There are various settlements around, mainly finishing and farming village but also some places to stay. The name Bosom Twin literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Bottom Twin was formed in 1648 when a hunter person an antelope shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in the small pond ahead. They said a hunter by name Akora Bompe in a shop. Thank you, Christopher. Please turn the paper and tell us what you read from the passage. The key words that I got from the passage are person three, Ashanti region. And it is talking about Lake Bosom Tree. Lake Bosom Tree was found in the Ashanti region. 
the, the neighbors of dream is antelope god. All right, Christopher, well done. I wish you all the very best, okay? All right. My dear, turn the paper and start reading, please. Lake Bosom Tree, Lake Bosom Tree, Ghana's only natural lake is located in the Ashanti region. The sides rise steeply covered with forests. There are various settlements around mainly, around mainly fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosom Tree literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Bosom Tree was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursuing an antelope a tree shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. The hunter said that the said, the said hunter by name Akra Bompe in shock decided to stay all right all right all right so turn the paper the passage is about lake bosom tree lake bosom tree literally means antelope god lake bosom tree was formed in 1648 All right, that was great. See you again. All the best. Hello, Edwin. Please turn the paper and read the passage. Lake Bosom Tree. Lake Bosom Tree, Ghana's only natural lake is located in the Ashanti region. The sites rise steeply covered with forests. These are various settlements around mainly fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosom Tree literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Bosom Tree had formed in 1648 when a hunter person an antelope shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. The said hunter, by name Akora Bompe, in Thank shock, you, decided to Thank you. stay. Please send the paper and tell us what you read from the passage. The passage is about Lake Bosom Tree, and it means it means the antelope god. All right, Edwin. I still wish you the very best. Okay. Start reading, please. Lake Bosom Tree. Lake Bosom Tree. Ghana's only natu natural lake is located at the Ashanti region. The sites rise steeply covered with forests. There are various settlements around, mainly, mainly fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosom Tree literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Bosom Tree was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursuing an antelope or two shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until the until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. The, hand, the, the said 
handsome right, by the okay. name. That's okay. So let's turn the paper and let's let's read summary of this passage. What what did you read from the passage? Lake Bosumche. Okay. Lake Bosumche is the only natural lake in Ghana. Correct. Farms are mainly grown around. There are also places to stay. All right, so I think you've done your best. I wish you the very best. Hello, Richmond. Please Hi. turn your paper and read what you have there. Thank you. Lake Busumche, Lake Busumche, Ghana's only natural lake is located in the Ashanti region. The sides rise steeply covered with forests. There are various settlements around mainly fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. The name Busumche literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Busum tree was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursuing an antelope shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. The said hunter by name Akrabompe in short decided to stay beside the pond and never returned to his town of Asamai. He then named the place... All right, Richmond, thank you. Please turn your paper. Kindly tell us what you read from the passage. Please, uh, please the passage is about Lake Busumche. Lake Busumche is located in the Ashanti region. Another name for Busumche is... Me, literally, me... Another name for Busumche is Antelope God. The name of the hunter was called... A, a crab bumpy. All right. Well done, Richmond. Thank you. I wish you the very best. Thank you. You're still live on Bookworm Season 4. Today is actually week 8. If you've missed any of our previous episodes, then jump onto our social media handles on Facebook. It is Bookworm Ghana. Instagram is one book underscore WMGH. And then on YouTube, it is Bookworm GH. We just said in a do already, we've had Harian Yakubu, Justice Say, Esther Duma, Christopher Bajaglana, uh, Edwin Ajiman Satsiache, and Manuela Ayihu. Are you tipping to qualify to the next round of the competition? We take a break when we are back. The show continues. Don't go anyway. It's here again. It's here again. It's yes, the bookworm train will be moving soon. Will your school be part of the 15 schools to benefit from the bookworm school tour? We have seen the likes of Santa Barbara, Alcide Academy, University of Ghana Basic School, Spring Kids School, and many more. This is the time to rally behind your favorite contestants because once they qualify to the grand finale, your school will be featured in a special documentary that will be aired live on TV. So vote for your favorite contestant now as you cheer them up to win the ultimate prize. A citation of honor and achievement will be awarded to the school whose contestant emerges as the winner of Bookworm Season 4. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Welcome back from that break. If you want to vote for any of the contestants, all you need to do is to dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to the reader's code and number, or you download a Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on your favorite reader's picture to keep the votes coming in. Next week, Bookworm Train will be in the Ashanti region for the audition of uh, Bookworm in the Ashanti region. So inside the Nastor, 
early in the morning, sharp, you need to be there so we make that happen. Let's have the next set of readers for the lower primary category. Lake Bosonche, Lake Bosonche, Ghana's only natural lake, is located in the Ashanti region. The sites rise steeply covered the, with forest. There are various settlements around, mainly fishing and farming in villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosonche literally means antelope god. Quote, Unquote. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Bosonche was formed in 1648 when the, a hunter pursued an antelope, Oche shot and injured an, the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. The, the third hunter, by name Accra Bompe, in shock decided. All right, that's okay. So let's turn the paper. What did you read from the passage? I read about Lake Bosomche. Lake Bosom I read that Lake Bosomche was is the only natural lake in the country. It is the name of Chim um, it was what? All right, all right, so you've done well, all the best. Thank you. Hello. Lake Bosontier. Lake Bosontier, Ghana's only natural lake is located in the Ashanti region. The sites rise steeply covered with forest. There are various settlements around the mainly fishing and farming villages, but also some places to, to stay. The, the name Bosontia literates means antelope god. Natural oral tradition has it has it that the Lake Bosomtia was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursued an antelope outwear, shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. The, the hunter said, All right, my right name... Thank you. Please send the paper and tell us what you read from the passage. I read that Lake Bosantia Lake means, means, All right, Rajab, well done. You read about Lake Bosom Train. Is that okay? I wish you the very best, okay? Great. Ahima, let's start. Lake Boston. Lake Boston, Ghana's only natural lake, is located in the Ashanti region. The site rise steeply covered with forest. There are various settlements around many fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosti literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Boston was formed in 1648 when a hunter person an antelope shot and injured the antelope the antelope however continued its run until it disappeared in a small pond ahead this the said hunter by name acrobompi 
in shock this time. All right, time. my dear. You've tried okay. your best. Let's summarize now. So what did you read from the passage? The name of the passage is Lake Bustani. Lake Bustani is in Ghana, in the Ashanti region. Continue. All right, so you read about Lake Busumchi, right? Like I said, I was glad you came from America, so you couldn't pronounce Busumchi. All the best then, okay? Hello, Fadila Tu. Please turn your paper and read. Lake Bosom Tree, Lake Bosom Tree. Ghana's, Ghana's only natural lake is located in the Ashanti region. The, the sites rise steeply, steeply covered with forest. The, there are various settlements around mainly fishing and family villages villages but also some places to stay the name boson tree literally means antelope god oral tradition has has it that the the lake bosom tree was formed in 1648 when a hunter pursuing an antelope into back or tree shot and injured the antelope the antelope, however, continued its run. All right, Fadila, to please turn your paper and tell us what you read from the passage. The title of the passage is Lake Bosom Tree, and Lake Bosom Tree. is formed in in 1648 and it is literally all right fadila to well done i wish you well okay let's start please leg boson tree Lake Bosun Tree, Ghana's only natural lake, is located in the Ashanti region. The sites rise steeply covered with forests. There are various settlements around, mainly fishing, farming, villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosun Tree literally means antelope god. Oral tradition has it that the Lake Bosun Tree was found in 1648 when a hunter person an antelope or tree shot and injured the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its run until it disappeared into a small pond ahead. The, the, the said hunter by name Akura Bompe in shock decided to stay beside the pond and never return to his town of Assam Man. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's summarize. So, what did you read from the passage? The passage was talking about Lake Bosun Tree. They said Lake Bosun Tree is located in the Ashanti region. And they also they also said that there was an there were there was an hunter who who wanted to shoot an antelope. But the antelope ran away. So he stayed he stayed beside the pond. Anyway, who were the day? Right, you've done quite well. Let's let's see how you fare, okay? All the best. Aliana, please turn the paper and read. Okay. Lake Bosom Tree. Lake Bosom Tree. Ghana's only natural lake is located in the Ashanti region. The sites rise steeply covered with forests. There are various 
settlements around many fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosom Tree literally, literally means antelope god, or, or oral tradition has it, has it that the, the Lake Bosom Tree was formed in in 1648, when a hunter pursuing an antelope twig shot an injured in the antelope. The antelope, however, continued its running until it disappeared in a small pond ahead. Thus, the hunter... All the right, hunter, Eliana. Well done. Please turn the paper and tell us what you read from the passage. The passage I read is about Lake Bosom Tree. Lake Bosom Tree is found in the in the Ashanti region. It is the only natural lake. All right, Eliana, well done. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Start. Please thank you. Lake Bosom Tree. Lake Bosom Tree. Ghana is only natural lake is located in Ashanti region. The sides rise steeply covered with forest. There are various settlements around mainly fishing and farming villages, but also some places to stay. The name Bosom Twe literally means an antelope god. Oral tra tra tradition has it that the lake Bot Bosom Twe was formed in 1648 when a hunter Pushing an antelope all the way. All right, all right, all right. So turn the sheet and then let's summarize. What did you read from the passage? I read that bosom tour is the only lake in Ghana and is located at the, at the Asante region. And also people fish. Well, you did quite well, but we were struggling with the word bosom tree. Okay, apart from that, we'll manage. All the best, okay? Yes, thank you. All right, so we've seen the last set of readers from the lower primary category, and I'm sure you are voting. It is star 365 star 366 hash, and then you proceed to the reader's code and number, or you download a Speak app Mobile Lab. You go to pause, you select Book and for Kids Show, you tap on your favorite reader's picture to keep the votes coming in. I take a break on the show. When I come back, it's time for eviction. Do stay with us. <laughs> It wasn't easy seeing our kids get evicted. The studio always got emotional any time it was set for eviction. Nonetheless, you have still followed the program and showed your appreciation to us. On this day, we celebrate you all as you enter our archives. We believe the bright future you all have has just been unleashed. Thank you all. Welcome back from the break. This is Bookworm Reading Competition Season 4. Like I said, from the beginning today, it's eviction. 
So it's time to say goodbye to some of our readers. Uh, I have Richmond Tinedu here. I have Seti Achia, Harian Yakubu, Raja Bin Jamel, uh, Eliana Amano, and Esther Duma, who goes home. If you hear your name, step forward. Seti Achia, Raja Bin Jamel. Rajab, go back. Haryan Yakubu, a step forward. Satya Chia and Haryan Yakubu, congratulations and see you next week. You made it through to the quarterfinals. You made it through to the quarterfinals. Eliana Amano, a step forward. Esther Duma, a step forward. Eliana, step back. Richmond, a step forward. Step. Eliana, step backwards. Congratulations to those in white, to Esther and Richmond. See you next week. You can go backstage. Move to the center a bit for me. Move to the center a bit for me. So between Rajab and Eliana, one will stay and one will go home. But then, who will it be? Ladies and gentlemen, from beginning, they came, they did their best. Judges gave their score. You, the view at home, voted to decide who stays, lives. The score must have put in everything together. The person leaving us today between Eliana and Rajab bin Jamel is Rajab bin Jamel. Congratulations to you, Eliana Amano. You can go back again. See you next week. This is where we say goodbye to you, Raja Benjamin, for Bookworm Season 4. We are super, super proud of you. You've done so well from week one today. You've done so well. So, this is our certificate of participation from Bookworm, presented by a ref from Chilliam Industries, producers of Planet Drinks, and then McBerry Biscuits. Can we also have the drink to quench your thirst along the journey back home? Congratulations. We are super proud of you. So, this is Bookworm, and I'm sure you are waiting to know who is next. Ladies and gentlemen, stick and stay. We'll be right back. It wasn't easy seeing our kids get evicted. The studio always got emotional any time it was set for eviction. Nonetheless, you have still followed the program and showed your appreciation to us. On this day, we celebrate you all as you enter our archives. We believe the bright future you all have has just been unleashed. Thank you all. Welcome back. Uh, I have my next set here. If you just tune in then, it's time for eviction on Bookworm for the lower primary category. I have Justice Musli Anashiru, Steve Hebert, uh, Benedict Gediti, uh, Christopher Bajaglana, and Manuela Aji. Benedict, a step forward. Justice a step forward. Manuela, a step forward. Benedict, step back. Justice and Manuela, congratulations, and see you next week. You made it through to the quarterfinals. Christopher, a step forward. Steve, a step forward. Musilia, a step forward. So I have white in front, and just one person in blue at the back. Ladies and gentlemen, who goes home? Benedict, how are you doing? Are you okay? You sure? Christopher, step back. Steve, you came. You did your best. Congratulations to you, and see you next week. Musilia, congratulations. I will see you next week. Now, between Benedict and Christopher, one is going home. Ladies and gentlemen, they came for the audition from the till today. They've done their best. They have improved. 
judges are impressed with their performance. But then, in order to progress to the next stage of the competition, we need to say goodbye to one of them. Benedict Kibisu, congratulations. See you next week. Unfortunately, this is the end of the road for Christopher Bajaglana. And our rep from Chilliam will do the presentation for us. Well done. Well done, Christopher. Well done, Christopher. Certificate of participation to you. And then a soft drink from Planet to quench your thirst as you journey back home. Can we have our last set for the lower primary category? It wasn't easy seeing our kids get evicted. The studio always got emotional any time it was set for eviction. Nonetheless, you have still followed the program and showed your appreciation to us. On this day, we celebrate you all as you enter our archives. We believe the bright future you all have has just been unleashed. Thank you all. I have my last set for the lower primary category. Uh, you are reminded that we, we don't have uh, one of our readers here. That is Ohima Yeboa is missing in action. But then she is still part of the competition. So whatever we do today also affects her wherever she finds herself. I have Edwin Ajiman. I have Fadila to Mustafa. And then Ohima Nyako. Ohima Nyako, a step forward. Edwin, a step forward. Fadila to a step forward. Edwin, step back. And congratulations. I will see you next week. Edwin, you can go backstage. Definitely. So we have, I don't know, is the drink giving us a signal as to the number of people going home today? <laughs> I have Fadilatu and Ohima Nyako. And our outsider, Ohima Yebua as well. So, like I said, whatever we are doing today here also affects Ohima Yebua. Fadila to step back. And congratulations. I will see you next week. You can go backstage. Fadila to. Ohima Nyakon, how are you? Are you ready? So, I have Ohima Nyakon here and Ohima Yebua at home. Who? goes home or who stays home. Ladies and gentlemen, the person leaving us today is Ohima Yabua. So Ohima Nyako, congratulations. You can go backstage and I will see you next week. She's relieved. Ladies and gentlemen, so Ohima Yabua, you have been evicted from bookworm season forever. You find yourself watching this. You've been evicted from the competition. We also saw uh, Raja Ben Jamel and then uh, our brother Christopher Baja Glana. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to announce that we finally have our quarter finalist for the lower primary category. So if you hear your name, you join me on stage, okay? I have Richmond Tenedu. I have Sati Achinya. You join me on stage. I have Harian Yakubu. I have Esther Duma. Eliana Amano. Edwin Ajiman, Fadila to Mustafa, Ohima Nyako, I have Justice Say, I have Muslia Nashiru, I have Steve Herbert, Manuela Ai, and then Benedict Gidisu. So these are our quarter finalists. Come on, shake your body. Hey. If you don't dance, you are evicted. Edwin, if you don't dance, you'll be evicted. So dance. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. So when are we doing it one by one, then you go off, okay? One by one, then you go off. So, Benedict. Okay. Hey, Steve, let's go. Steve, let's go. Congratulations. Oh, Hima. Hey, Arian Yakubu. Hey, Satya Chia, let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, Edwin, let's go. Justice say, let's go. Fatila to let's go. Hey. Richmond, let's go. 
Okay, Essa, let's go. Manuela, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, and then Muslia, let's go. <laughs> all right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is what we get on Bookworm. It's all about fun and education live here on the show. That's it for the lower primary category. Many thanks to our sponsors and supporters. We take a break. When we are back, the show continues with the upper primary category. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Nominees for the best reader of the week, upper primary category are Rahima Sahaku. Cassava de development in Ghana. Cassava was introduced from Brazil, its, its country of origin to the tropical areas of Africa, the Far East and the Caribbean island by the Portuguese Jarvis. Joseph Tete. Development in Ghana. Cassava was introduced from Brazil, its country of origin to the tropical areas of Africa, the Far East and the Caribbean island by the Portuguese during the 16th and 17th century. In the Gold Coast, now Ghana. Dorothy Ohinabini. Cassava development in Ghana. Cassava was introduced from Brazil, its country of origin to the tropical areas of Africa, the Far East and the Caribbean island by the Portuguese during the 16th and 17th century. You welcome back. Now we head straight into the upper primary category and it's time to award our best reader for week seven. I have our nominees here, Dorothy Ohenebin, Joseph Tete, and Rahima Isahaku. And uh, Mr. Daniel Arthur will do the presentation for us. We have products from our sponsors and then our supporters also coming on board to make sure we do this successfully. Uh, we now for last week putting everything together and getting the results for from our score master. We have Rahima Isahaku as our winner for week seven from the upper primary category. Mr. Daniel Arthur, you do that presentation for us. So we have products from Planet and then McBerry Biscuit. We have a storybook from C2G Book People, a coupon from Zealand Fan World. Also to you, Joseph Tete. And then to our winner for week seven, Rahima Isahaku. Congratulations to you. And then this is your certificate to show that indeed. So Rahima won it for week five. And again, this is the fourth time. Week one, week three, week five, and then week seven. All going for Rahima Isahaku four times for this season. Let's see how today goes. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready, I am ready. But then those in the Ashanti region, don't forget on the 13th of November, we will all be in the Ashanti region. The Bookworm train will land at the Nast Hall on the 13th of November. I will be there. The entire team will be there. So do make yourself available. Let's make that a success. That said, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the reading for the upper primary category. Let's have our first set of readers. Thank you. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses friendly crocodiles. Located in the north eastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures. The paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. 
established many years ago, it was it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana, which attracts people all right. from... All right. So what did you read from the passage? I, I read that the passage is about um, the Paga Crocodile, the Paga, the Paga Crocodile Pond. And that place is a very, it's a sacred place that, um, that houses crocodiles. And, and it's a taboo to kill. Uh, OK, so beautiful. You've done quite well. That's impressive. Thank you. So I'll see you. All the best. Okay. Hello. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this, hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paka Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years old. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga crocodile pond. That's all right, Jaden. Thank you. Please turn the paper okay and kindly summarize tell us what you read from the passage this passage is about the paga crocodile pond mostly we know crocodiles as wild creatures which don't entertain human beings but in the northeastern border of ghana there are friendly crocodiles which are actually entertaining human beings they say that the paga the people of paga are tied and connected to these crocodiles all right Jaden. Very well done. You've done so amazing. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Okay. Paga Crocodile Palm. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the park the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to the crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga crocodile, is, the Paga crocodile pond is one of the most famous tourist sites in Ghana, which attracts people from all parts of the world. Upon a visit to the pond, the crocodiles are caught out from the pond and given a life soul. Great. Oh. So, then it. Yeah. Alright, so what do you have to say about the passage? It talks about a tourist site in Ghana called Paka Crocodile Pond. That is believed that is home to the that is home to friendly crocodiles that live in Ghana. It is believed that the souls, the souls of the people of Paga is tied to the crocodile, so it is a taboo to kill one of them. And it is located in the northern east border of them. Charlie, you are so great. I, I enjoy you. But next time you are reading, try and pay attention. Some of the words, you couldn't get them right. It's because you are Russian, right? Beautiful. All the best, eh? Thank you. Hello, Dorothy. 
Kasi. Hello. Please turn your paper and read the passage. Para Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this, hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana, which attracts people from all parts of the world. Upon a visit to the pond, the crocodiles are called out from the pond and given a life full. Thank you. Dorothy, well done. Please turn your paper. Yeah, tell us what you read from the passage. Paga Crocodile Pond. The passage is talking about crocodiles that are found in the northeastern part of Ghana. And... Uh, Crocodile sanctuary and the crocodiles are friendly there and they don't harm humans. But people think that crocodiles are very harmful, so they don't get near it. And in the passage too, it tells that. All right, Dorothy. Well done. I wish you the very best. Thank Alice, let's start, please. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this, hear, say, be, and believe, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is a Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with human beings. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the soul of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana which attracts... All right, so you turn the sheet and let's do a summary. What the, story, the story is about Paga the story is about Paga Crocodile Pond. The, the Paga Crocodiles are very friendly and coexist with human beings. They... They are not all that harmful to human beings like that. They, and they tolerate human beings. And it's therefore a taboo. All right. All right. So that was impressive. I wish you all the best, okay? Thank you. Alima to please turn and read the passage. Para crocodile pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has, has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Para Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Para Crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Para are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Para Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourists. All right, Alima, please turn your paper. And tell us what you read from the passage. 
I read about the crocodile pond. It was talking about how people thought the crocodiles were wild. And about a pond in Para where crocodiles, where friendly crocodiles live, and how they relate with the people of Para. All right, Alima too. Well done. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are very are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The the Para Crocodile Pond right. is one of... All right, all right, calm down. <laughs> so let's turn the sheets and then it's done. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what do we have to say about the passage? The passage is talking about crocodiles, the Paga Pond, in the Paga Pond. It may have heard that the crocodiles are very dangerous animals, to him, especially to living creatures. But the Paga Pond, in which the crocodiles are in, the crocodiles are very The crocodiles are very friendly to all the right. humans. All right, all right. So that's beautiful. I like the fact that you read very well. Thank and you. You were able to pronounce all the words correctly. The ones yeah. you've made so far. So all the best. Thank you. <laughs> Carissa, please start reading. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, a motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and quiet exist with human beings. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga pond, the, the Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana, which attracts people from all parts of the world. Upon a visit to the all pond... Right, Carissa. Thank you. Please turn the paper and tell us what you read from the passage. It is about the Paga Crocodile Pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond has been established many years ago. The, the, the crocodiles in the pond are very friendly. Crocodiles are reptiles which do not entertain with human, uh, human beings. Crocodiles are wild reptiles. The oldest, the right, oldest crocodile... It's time. Well done. You have done well. I wish you well. Thank you. Start. Thank you. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are white reptiles, reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. 
Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana had been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. All the crocodiles are considered as wild creatures. The Paga Crocodile Pond the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the, in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga crocodile pond is one of the famous story sites in Ghana, which attracts people. All right. Turn the paper. What did you read from the passage, please? Yes, I read about the Paga Crocodile Pond. It is located, it is located at the north eastern part of Ghana. The crocodiles do not harm their people and they are friendly to humans. Thank you. Beautifully done. See you again. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Let's start reading. Okay. Paka Crocodile Pond. You may have heard you may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this, hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses our friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures the Paga, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans established many years ago it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years it is believed that the source of the people of Paga are attacked to these crocodiles it is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond all right Evans, please turn your paper Tell us what he read from the passage. The passage is talking about Paga crocodile ponds, and he says that the crocodiles in these ponds are very friendly. And it also says that the source of humans are attached to the pond. So it is. All right, Evans. Well done. I wish you all the best. Okay. So we've had. The upper primary category, who are you voting for? Star 365, star 366, hash, and then you proceed to the reader's code and number, or you download a Speak App mobile app. You go to post, you select Book Room for Kids Show, you tap on your favorite reader's picture to keep the votes coming in. This is Planet Bookworm season for proudly sponsored by Planet and McBerry Biscuit. We are supported by Republic Investment, Chrysler's International School, Zealand Fan World, Adrensa Publication, C2G Book People, CJ Multimedia, Speak Up Mobile App, and then the Media Serving Group of Companies. Let's take a break. When we are back, the show continues. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back from the break. Before we move to the next set of readers, let me speak to those in the Ashanti region. Next week on the 13th of November, inside the NAS hall, the bookworm train will arrive safely for that audition. So, stick and stay. Those in the upper primary category, you learn something from what your colleagues here are doing. So, next week, you'll be able to impress the judges and then you qualify for the bookworm in the Ashanti region. Right now, it's time to introduce the next set of readers from the upper primary category. Let's have them.
Pada crocodile pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Con contrary to this, hear, say, and believe, a motherland Ghana has blessed with a pond that houses very found friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga Crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the source of the people of Paga outside to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. All right. I friends that crocodiles are reptiles and it is in the northern part, it is in the northern east of Ghana. And it is a taboo to harm crocodiles. And I've, I've learned that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. Well done. See you next time. All the best. Thank you. Hello, Annabelle. Please start the reading. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild, are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northern east border of Ghana, in the Paga Crocodile Pond, a scared crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied, are tied to these crocodiles. Thank you, Annabelle. Please turn the paper and tell us what you read from the passage. They said that our mother, the passage is about the Paga crocodiles. Crocodiles are wild creatures. Crocodiles are wild creatures. There is a pond named Paga, Paga crocodiles where Crocodiles live it. It's in, it causes with humans. All right, Annabelle. Well done. I wish you the very best. Let's go. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contra contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana in the, is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with human, humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the Paga, the souls of people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It, it is therefore a taboo. All right. So you turn your paper and it will be a summary. The passage was about Paga Crocodile Pond. Okay. 
Paga Crocodile Pond is located in the eastern region of Ghana. And it said the old crocodile is 90 years of age. And crocodiles are what? The All right, so I'm not sure you saw eastern region. You saw northeast, right? OK. All the best. Thank you. Nathania, please start reading. Paga, crocodile pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Co contrary to this hearsay, I believe, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a screen crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and consist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is... All right, Nathania, please turn the paper. Please turn. And tell us what you read from the passage. This passage is captioned Paga Crocodile Pond. Paga eh, Crocodiles are deadly animals which kills human beings and it also talks it also talks about an old crocodile who is about ninety years old. Alright Nathania, thank you. Well done. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tried, tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana which attracts people from all parts of the world. Upon a visit to the pond... All right, all right, all right. So turn the paper. What is the passage saying? The passage is talking about crocodiles. Crocodiles are ancient animals. It, is, it was believed that crocodiles were not friendly, but as time went on, they established a pond called the... Paga Pond of crocodiles, which contain a lot of crocodiles. And in a part of Ghana, it's a taboo to. All right. Well done. All the best. Hello, Nathan. Please Hello. take the turn the paper and read. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although 
crocodiles are considered as wild creatures. The Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana which attracts people from all parts of the world. Upon a visit to the pond, the crocodiles are called out from the pond and given a... Alright, Nathan, thank you. Please turn and tell us what you read from the passage. Uh, the, the, the passage is captioned uh, Paga Crocodile Oh, Nathan, that is all right. You read well, and I wish you the very best. I'm fine. Okay. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a scarce crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. All right, Erika, please turn the paper. And tell us what you read from the passage. It's about so it's about some crocodiles. Crocodiles are usually wild creatures, but then there are a certain there are certain there are certain type of crocodiles in a pond called Paga Pond, which are very friendly and coexist with humans. Uh, well done, Erika. I wish you the best. Thank you. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this, hear, say, and believe, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild and creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the... All right, so you turn your paper. What did you read from the passage, please? The passage talks about Paga Crocodile Pond, mm -hmm. and it also says that crocodiles are wild animals on the earth, but the, at the Paga Crocodile Pond, all the crocodiles are friendly. And it also says that the oldest crocodile at the Paga Crocodile Pond is about 90 years. 90 years. Great. Clap for yourself. You read very well. All the best. Thank you. Okay. Start. 
Okay, thank you. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has, has been blessed with a pond with houses very friendly, which house, that house is very friendly crocodiles. Located in the north, northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although the crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and echo exists with, human, with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years old. It is believed that... All right. Bring the paper. Okay. What do you have to say about the passage? Please, the passage was about the Paga Crocodile Pond. Mm -hmm. And they said that it's the, there's, a park, there's a Paga Crocodile Pond in the northeastern region of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years old. Yes, please. All right, you're free to go. Good Thank you. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Nessa, please start reading. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this here, say and believe, our motherland Ghana had, has been blessed with a pond that has houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sang, sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as a wild creature, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is, be it is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore... All right, Vanessa, please turn. And tell us what you read from the passage. Papa Crocodile a Pond. I learned that the oldest crocodile in a pond is 90 years. All right, Vanessa. Well done. I wish you the best. Paga Crocodile Pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses with friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary, although Crocodiles are considered as wild creatures. The Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana. Okay, so you take a big part and then Paga Crocodile Pond. The Paga Crocodile Pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana. Mm -hmm. The Paga Crocodiles are friendly, even though you may have heard that they are harmful to human beings. The crocodiles, the people at Paga Crocodile Pond. 
Okay. So that is it. Well done. Thank See you. See you again. Paga crocodile pond. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga crocodile pond, a scared crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with humans. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are tied to these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga crocodile pond is one of the famous tourist sites in Ghana which attracts people from all parts of the world. Upon all right, Kojo, please send the paper and tell us what you read from the passage. The story is about Paga Crocodile Pond. The story says Paga, Paga or Crocodile Pond is a, is a famous tourist site. The crocodiles there are very friendly. The, then there is a taboo that there is, there, is, there is no reason for you to kill a crocodile. All right, Kojo, well done. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Kevin, start, please. Paga Crocodile Pond. Mm -hmm. You may have heard that crocodiles are wild reptiles that wouldn't entertain living creatures, especially human beings. Contrary to this hearsay and belief, our motherland Ghana has been blessed with a pond that houses very friendly crocodiles. Located in the northeastern border of Ghana is the Paga Crocodile Pond, a sacred crocodile sanctuary. Although crocodiles are considered as wild creatures, the Paga crocodiles are friendly and coexist with human beings. Established many years ago, it is believed that the oldest crocodile in the pond is about 90 years. It is believed that the souls of the people of Paga are trying to kill these crocodiles. It is therefore a taboo to kill or harm the crocodiles in the pond. The Paga Crocodile right, Pond right, is one of right, the most famous right, tourist right, sites in all Ghana. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so turn the paper and let's do the summary. Okay. What did you read from the passage, please? About the Paga Crocodile Pond. It is said that crocodiles aren't very from friendly to living creatures like human beings. But in Ghana, we have in the north in eastern region we have the paga crocodile pond where all the crocodiles there are friendly some people okay okay well done superstar all the best thank you thank you and that's it for the upper primary category it's time for eviction who did you vote for and who are you expecting to go home who impressed you so far today judges are giving their score and you the view at home you did one thing by voting. It's time for the score master to put everything together. We take a break. When we are back, we get to know who stays and who leaves out. This is Bookworm. We'll be right back. It wasn't easy seeing our kids get evicted. The studio always got emotional anytime it was set for eviction. Nonetheless, you have still followed the program and showed your appreciation to us. On this day, we celebrate you all as you enter our archives. We believe the bright future you all have has just been unleashed. Thank you all.
You welcome back from the break. We're still live on Book Women. It's time for eviction. Like I said before the break, some would definitely leave us. First set here, I have Dorothy Ohenebin, Netanya Sefa, Kariza Ganza, uh, Rahima Isahaku, Alisa J. Menu, and Joseph Tete. Joseph, step forward. Dorothy, step forward. Alice, step forward. No, Alice, go back. Joseph and Dorothy, congratulations, and see you next week. You can go backstage. Carissa, step forward. Natania Sefa, step forward. Rahima, congratulations. Rahima, go backstage and see you next week. So I have two in front and one at the back. In this group, one will go home. Who will it be? Is it the lady at the back? Is it you? You sure? Is it you? Natania, is it you? All right. Alice AJ Menu, you came, you did your best, and I have to say congratulations and see you next week. You can go backstage. So between Natania and Kariza, right? Kariza Ganza, one, we say goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, the person going home today is Natania Sefa. Congratulations to you, Carissa Ganza. You can go backstage. Mr. Daniel Arthur, do the presentation for us. This is where we say goodbye to you. Natania Sefa, you've done so well. We are super proud of you. And we hope that you continue to do your best at home and in school. Can you get her a drink for me to quench her test? as she journey home from Bookworm. Congratulations. From day one to week eight. That is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our next set coming up. Who is going home and who is saying, this is Bookworm. We'll be right back. It wasn't easy seeing our kids get evicted. The studio always got emotional any time it was set for eviction. Nonetheless, you have still followed the program and showed your appreciation to us. On this day, we celebrate you all as you enter our archives. We believe the bright future you all have has just been unleashed. Thank you all. One down, who follows? I have Jaden Corley, uh, Annabelle Chukwe, Mekan Ivan Sowusu, Vanessa Jackson, Mercedes Osmanu, uh, Shanta Hoto, and Ivan Owusu. Ivan, step forward. Jaden, step forward. No, Jaden, go back. Mercedes, step forward. Annabelle, congratulations. You can go backstage. See you next week. Mercedes, step back. Chantel, a step forward. Chantel and Evans, congratulations, and I will see you next week. You can go backstage. For me, thank you. you. Know the rule. You know the rule. Thank you. Thank you. You know the rule. Mercedes, step forward. Jaden, right? You want to go home? Good to know. You can go backstage and see you next week. So, between Vanessa and Mercedes, one will go home. Vanessa, step forward. Ladies and gentlemen, they came, they did their best, and I have to say goodbye to one of them. Mr. Daniel Arthur, you get ready for me for the presentation. The person going home today is Vanessa Jackson. Congratulations to you, Mercedes. You can go backstage and see you next week. Vanessa, this is where we say goodbye to you. We appreciate your efforts. Your family, bookworm, classmates, everyone is proud of you for how far you've come. This is not the end for you, but when it comes to bookworm, unfortunately, we say goodbye. Do your best. Continue working hard. Sometimes it gets tougher when you have to do this. But then, 
more to go home. Stick and stay. I'll be right back. It wasn't easy seeing our kids get evicted. The studio always got emotional any time it was set for eviction. Nonetheless, you have still followed the program and showed your appreciation to us. On this day, we celebrate you all as you enter our archives. We believe the bright future you all have has just been unleashed. Thank you all. We are moving on. It's still eviction time for the upper primary category for bookworm season. For who progresses to the next stage of the competition, that is the quarter finals. I have Erekia Uti Enchi, I have Fifi Donko, Kevin Boatin, Joy Jakpasu, Alima Tusadia, and Roslyn Gidisu. Roslyn, a step forward. Alima, two step forward. Erekia, step forward. Kevin. And Fifi don't call. Congratulations, the two of you can go backstage and see you next week. Congratulations. Requia, step back. Joy, a step forward. Alima, two, step back. Rosalind and Joy, congratulations. I will see you next week. You can go backstage. So between Alima, two, and Requia, one is going home. Close the gap for me. Move to your left a bit. Yeah. Thank you. Now both of you step forward. Alima to step forward. You've done your best. You came from week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to today. Heading straight into the quarterfinals. But unfortunately, I have to say, the person going home is Erequia Uti Entry. Alima to congratulations. You can go backstage. See you next week. Mr. Daniel Arthur, do the presentation for us. To Erequia. Well done, Erequia. Congratulations to you. This is where we say goodbye. You fought so well. And like I always say, a drink to quench your thirst along the journey home. You've seen three down already. Who will it be for the next round? Ladies and gentlemen, let's have them. It wasn't easy seeing our kids get evicted. The studio always got emotional any time it was set for eviction. Nonetheless, you have still followed the program and showed your appreciation to us. On this day, we celebrate you all as you enter our archives. We believe the bright future you all have has just been unleashed. Thank you all. Three already from the upper, but then more to go here. I have Justina Asem, I have Kojo Sasu, Nathan Sefa, Daniela Owusuya, and Shafrana Bin Jamel. Shafrana, a step forward. Nathan, a step forward. Kojo Sasu, a step forward. No, Shafrana and Kojo, step back for me. Nathan, congratulations. I will see you next week. You can go backstage. Justina Asem, a step forward. Daniela, a step forward. Kwaju Sasu, you came, you did your best, and I have to say this. Mr. Uh, Daniel Arthur, please do this presentation for me. There are more people going, so let's do this quick, then we follow up with the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, the person saying goodbye to us is Justina Asem. Justin Asem, this is where we say goodbye to you. Unfortunately for you, you didn't make it through to the quarterfinals. Let's have the drink to quench your thirst as you journey back home. Stop crying, please. Stop crying. Okay? You've done so well. You've done well. Trust me. You've done so well. You can go back. Say, Judge, please take her backstage for me. Yes. Yeah. She, she needs help. Please, please support her for me. Thank you so much. So, Shafana, I step forward. Right there, me, Dan. Yeah, come. 
kwa Jesus a step forward. And I have to say congratulations to the three of you. You made it through to the quarterfinals of this season's bookworm reading competition. So, those backstage who made it through to the quarterfinals, you can all join me on stage here. I have Mercedes Osmanu. I have Chantal Ahoto. Nathan Sefa. I have Evans also coming. Come on, let's shake body. Congratulations to all of you. Kevin also joining. Oh, the lower primary people did better. You people don't know how to dance. Uh huh. I have Joseph Tete. So, Joseph, you dance and you go. Congratulations. All right, thank you. You can go backstage. Mercedes, continue for me. All right, Shafana, let's go. Okay, Kojosasu, let's go. All right, Daniela, let's go. Okay, Chantel, let's go. Nathan, let's go. Hey, get to this side for me. Evans, let's go. Okay, Kevin, let's go. All right, so let me have the next set of qualifying also here. All right, let's go. Shake body, shake body. Let me see that you are excited. All right, Annabelle, let's go. Give us some moves, then you go. Okay. Carissa, let's go. Okay. Rahima, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Dorothy, let's go. All right, my guy, let's go. Yeah. Okay, I see. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much to my co host live here on the show. It's been great, it's been awesome, but then. Trust me, next week will be more exciting live on the show here in Kumasi. Because we are coming to, know, we are coming to you live, because we are coming all the way to Kumasi on the 13th of November 2021 inside the Nasto. So if you got your forms, get ready, because the train is coming down to Kumasi. The program was proudly brought to us by Bookham Avenue Concert, and we were proudly sponsored by Planet Drinks and Magberry Biscuit. We were supported by CJ Multimedia, Media Serving Group of Companies, Agenda Publications, Republic Investment, Christ Lives International School, C2G Book People, Zealand Fan World, and then Speak Up Mobile App. My name is FM to the entire production team. Thank you all so much for making a part of the show to our judges. Thank you so much. Next week is quarterfinals here in Accra, and at the same time, we will also be in Kumasi to make it big and more fun. My name is FM. Jump onto our social media handles on Facebook. It is Bookworm Ghana. Instagram is one book underscore MJ. And then on YouTube, it is Bookworm J. So I see you next week from Kumasi. Goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, no.